Morning guys and welcome back to the channel. I know lots of you have noticed recently that my small white clock has stopped working. So I thought I'd use this opportunity to um, show you this clock in a little bit of detail. There's been some interest in this clock because the action is pretty cool, isn't it? Some of you will have noticed that the second hand stops at 12 o'clock for a couple of seconds. And um, yeah, the reason for that is because, well, all clocks in Switzerland um, on the railway system are synchronized. They're all connected and head office, I guess, sends a signal to all those clocks every minute to allow um, the minute hand to move forward. And then the second hand will do a full rotation in 58 seconds. So each second on one of these clocks isn't actually a full second. It's less than a second. And um, yeah, then basically once it's got to 12 o'clock, um, another signal will come from head office to allow the minute hand to move forward. And then the second hand will do another 58 second rotation, followed by another two seconds pause um, waiting for that signal and that enables all the clocks um, on the Swiss railway um, system to be synchronized. Pretty cool. So they've replicated that action with these clocks. Um, it comes at a price though. Um, these are about £200. I think I bought this in a sale from Francis and Gay, but I just thought it's too cool. Um, I really wanted this in the background. It's just a really iconic um, cool clock. But yeah, it doesn't look like the battery lasts that long in these things. Um, yeah, it lasted about a year or so. So anyway, let's get the battery in and um, yeah, set it up. It's quite heavy, actually. Um, yeah, these are surprisingly heavy. And that's the back of it. That's the model number of this particular clock. Um, yeah, smart wall clock. I guess it's a smart clock because, oh, something's happening because um, it connects to an app um, on your smartphone. Right. Um, let's see what happens. I don't know whether it's going to move automatically to the correct time because I've got the app open, but let's go to settings. Let's go to, oh, automatic time is already set and stop to go is on. So I guess you can switch off that stop to go function. And sometimes you need to realign the hands as well um, because the minute hand might be over here when the second hand pauses at 12 o'clock. So you can manually move the hands but yeah let's just see what happens the time is 9 19 a.m so um if it goes to 9 19 a.m then well it's quite a boring video isn't it but um yeah anyway let's just see what happens oh brilliant um it's got the time wrong that's good um that means we can now um yeah set the the time um let's see um i've forgotten how to do it let's see if there's a way of doing it automatically maybe if i shut down the app and load it up again bear with me i think my phone was too close to the clock actually um i've just moved my phone away and it's carried on working it's now 9 22 will it go to 9 22 no <laughs> Well, I never said I knew what I was doing. Um, this is the first time I've had to change the battery on this thing. So this is as much of a learning curve for me as it is for you guys. I think I might need to realign the hands, actually. So let's do that first. This is how you realign the hands. Uh, you realign the second hand first, and then you go minutes. And you're telling it that it's basically 12 o'clock. So let's just... I think because the battery ran out, the clock thought the time would, was advancing, but there wasn't enough strength in the motor to actually move the hands. So the internal clock thought, or the internal timekeeper thought that time was advancing, but the physical hands weren't actually moving. Right, I think that's it. So the minute hand and the second hand are aligned at 12, and the hours is showing four, save alignment. Hands realignment in progress, updating the time on the clock. It may take some time, up to two minutes, don't I know it? So it thinks it's three minutes past nine, but it isn't. Let's um, put automatic time on and see what happens. Will it stop at 9.27? <gasps> Yay, there we go. It's synced up now to the phone. Oh, thank goodness. So the problem was then that, um, yeah, like I said, the internal clock thought time had advanced, but the hands hadn't been allowed to. Gravity basically had stopped the motor because there wasn't enough power in the battery. Um, basically, yeah, the weight of the hands had stopped them from moving forward. So 
there'd been a disconnect basically between what the hands were showing and what the movement inside um, thought the time was. So I had to realign the hands and then, um, yeah, basically click on automatic time. And it's now getting the time off my phone. And every time um, or if ever that gets out of sync, I just come into the app, open up the app and it will automatically sync up. It's quite incredible, actually. You literally just need to be in the room, open up the app and then the clock will connect. Um, I've never actually connected the clock to this app, which makes me think you could go to anybody's house that has one of these and start messing with them, messing with their clock anyway, um, because I don't think there's a, an actual connection. It's not like I've bound these two things together. But anyway, there we go. We got there in the end. Um, I'm going to pop it back on the wall. Um, yeah. So to summarise, it's quite a cool clock. Bit of a pain in the backside when the battery runs out, but still very, very cool. Right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that.